It takes a village to raise a child. Now, I want to share a story. I was at a little restaurant earlier, and I saw a little youngster, 13, 14 years old, walking there with a ski mask on. And I'm looking like, at shorty, like, hold up, hold up, homie. Looks to be with, looks like to be some grandparents. And I saw this before a youngster at the park walk up with a ski mask on. Now, if I'm a gangbanger and I ride into the ops hood looking for my ops and I see a youngster with a ski mask on, oh, you a dude. You a dude. You part and partial with this hood. You part and partial. As parents, yo, why would you let your child walk out the house wearing a ski mask on? Them 13, 14 year old youngsters ain't worried about getting sick. It ain't about that. But it, we, it, nowadays, it's cool to let them walk around with ski mask on. Let me tell you something. If you fit the description, you fit the description. What do you think the cops is looking at? We can't get mad at the cop like, yo, yo, you, you, uh, you stereotyped him. No, I've done stories on all types of carjackers. And guess what they are wearing? Ski mask. Pants sagging. Ski mask on. No question. Parents, yo, search your kids' room. Do not let them walk out the house looking like the sub the, the suspect. Because if I'm the ops, I ride to that hood, I see somebody with ski mask. Hey, they go right there. If I'm the police officer and I'm looking for carjackers, they ain't go right there. I know what a carjacker look like. You know, man, hey, stereotypes, hey man. If you walk like a duck, look like a duck, man. Hey, nine times out of ten, man, it's just that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I look. Um, I know the prostitute look out. When the prostitute come out, they half naked. That's why when my daughter walk out the house, no way, no how when she get older, you walking out the house half dressed. Because nine times out of ten, everybody that see you gonna think that. Is it fair? No. But if it look like a duck. Quack like a duck, you're probably gonna think it's a duck. Young homies, be careful. I know you wanna be cool. I know you wanna be tough. But 13, 14, man, it ain't cool to be buried at 13 and 14. That ain't cool. Um, being cool is being 85, 90 with your kids and your great grandkids around your grave, around your bed, and you go in peace at the crib. It ain't cool to get shot at 13 and 14. It ain't cool to go to jail. Because now, guess what? The ops is after you. They ride up, they see you, they afraid of you. Let me tell you something, a scared man will kill you much, much quicker than a brave man will. If you got a ski mask on, I'm scared you got you gonna pop me. So I gotta pop you. I'm afraid you about to up on me. Same with the police. The police is like, oh, well, hold on. He got a whole ski mask on. If you move, I'm going to blast you. And if you reach, they going to blast you. I did several stories. Little homie was well, just carjacked. Somebody had a pistol on him, and he was running. He fit the description. And the police popped him. They wasn't even going to wait for him. They wasn't going to wait for him. They wasn't going to give him not even a single second. Hey, man, it take a village, man. One of the things I want to talk about is uh, a lot of times we move away from our community, you know, and therefore we don't know none of the youngsters in the community. And so, man, when you, you know, stay in your community for 30 years, you know everybody in there. You got your partner's kids. Uh, my father and my uh, one of my best friends' father grew up with each other. So if anything, I was out there acting a fool. His father pulled up on me. And I was like, hold up, homie. Just like my homeboy Spank Kids uh, is around. I grew up with Spank 30 years. I see his kids acting a fool. I'm on them. Hold up, homie. Here's what you ain't going to do. I'm going to jump out. I'm going to whoop you. Then I'm going to take you to your parents. I grew up with your parents 30 years. Here's what you ain't going to be out here doing. You ain't going to be acting a damn fool out here. Not while I'm here. But you can't run up on these little homies now. They probably blast you because they don't know you. You ain't grow up with them. You ain't got no history with them. So one of the things that's troubling is, you know, there was a Nigerian uh, guy I interviewed for one of my documentaries. 
and um, he was telling me to take a village. He said, man, a neighbor could get out and whoop your kid. The neighbor could take your kids in. The neighbor also will help feed your kids, man. So once again, they take a village, man. So, you know, I wanted to, I saw one of the little homies at the park, he walked up and uh, you know, I'm concealed to carry. So man, I was on shorty like, whoa, whoa, two more seconds. You know, I, I, man, I'm not about to wait for you to up on me. No, I'm not waiting that long. Okay, what y'all say? I ain't waiting that long. It's either you and me, homie, and sorry. Do not walk upon me with a uh, ski mask. It ain't gonna end well. Youngsters, you could just be walking past. He ain't even noticed me. I noticed him. And uh, it ain't good. Anyway, man, take a village, man. If y'all see some of the homies, I wanted to grab the little homie and tell him, hey, homie, it ain't cool. I know you trying to look tough. I know you trying to look hard. It ain't worth it, little homie. Anyway, shout out to everybody sending me stories. Peace, y'all.